Is AI really going to replace ethical hackers? This is a question that we'll be answering in today's video where we'll be diving deeper into the intersection between ethical hacking and artificial intelligence. We'll also be diving deeper into the future trends of what this will look like, as well as these specific skills that won't be replaced by AI. So be sure to stick around to the end of this video. So first things first, what is an ethical hacker? What do they do? What skills do they use? And why are they so important in cybersecurity? An ethical hacker is someone who works in cybersecurity and specializes in analyzing and assessing the security of computer systems, networks, applications, and other hardware and software assets. The main goal of an ethical hacker is to find the vulnerabilities and bugs before a real world attacker does so that development teams and product teams are able to remediate those vulnerabilities to make their software and applications more secure. This may include identifying weaknesses in the software that they're assessing, penetration testing, risk assessments, as well as ensuring that the organization is staying compliant with any regulations or requirements that they may have to ensure that their applications and the data stored on those applications are as secure as possible. This is where you probably may have heard of the term white hat hacker versus black hat hackers. Ethical hackers really bring that human element in cybersecurity to securing software applications as an additional add-on to any code scanning or application scanning that is already happening across an organization. And as you may have heard, there has been a lot of buzz around advanced artificial intelligence models created by OpenAI. Specifically in this video, we'll be talking about ChatGPT, Bard, and Copilot, which are three very popular platforms that are available to be used publicly, developed by OpenAI using natural language processing and machine learning. ChatGPT and Bard are language models that you can talk to directly, similar to a chatbot, where you can ask it questions and it will answer based on the information that it's consumed. Copilot is an AI model designed for developers specifically to be able to help them write code more efficiently by providing code suggestions, explanations, and auto-completions depending on what the developer is looking for. The rise of AI brings the opportunity of increased developer productivity, but it may also come with substantial security risk. Generative AI coding tools are only as good as the data they're trained on, so code generation tools may often include vulnerable code in their suggestions. This is even more concerning when you consider this statistic shared by Microsoft. 40% of the code that developers are checking in is now AI generated and unmodified. So if you're using GitHub Copilot autocomplete without proper inspection and validation of the AI generated code, there is a risk that the auto generated code can introduce software security issues. And not only does this introduce risk, but it also ultimately decreases efficiency because of the time that developers have to take to go back and fix any vulnerabilities in the code down the line. Let's have an AI tool write some code and let's scan it with sneak to see what vulnerabilities if any are hiding in it. So while tools like ChatGPT and Copilot can help speed up development time, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Sneak, you can secure your apps with just a click to actually save you time in the long run. Sign up for Sneak for free using the link in my description, sneak.com slash with Sandra to see what vulnerabilities are hiding in your code, open source dependencies, and containers. So now that we've covered the intro of ethical hackers and the new AI models that are available for use, how exactly is AI currently being used in cybersecurity? Security. And what are the pros and cons in detecting vulnerabilities in real life scenarios? Nowadays, you'll probably see many vendors integrating AI into their tools and applications. And a lot of these new features have been specifically created to make the user experience better and more efficient. Some examples of how AI is currently being used in cybersecurity include malware detection, phishing detection, threat detection and prevention, SIEMs, as well as vulnerability management tools just to name a select few. For example, in vulnerability management, AI can be used to identify specific software vulnerabilities and prioritize which vulnerabilities should be remediated first by the team, depending on how critical they may be. For example, if you have two high severity vulnerabilities and if remediating them may be a complicated process, those two high vulnerabilities may have different prioritizations depending on the assets that they're on. For example, if one of the vulnerabilities is on a server that is highly used, that always has high traffic, is public facing, has sensitive information, then the vulnerability management tool may be able to tell the security team, hey, these two assets have the same vulnerabilities, but this asset is very high traffic and may be more susceptible to an actual threat or exploit, while the other asset may not be as highly sensitive, which can give the cybersecurity team an idea of which asset to prioritize remediating first. Phishing detection is another popular one where AI can be very useful in detecting specific URLs or vulnerabilities to be able to determine whether or not an email that hits an employee's inbox is legitimate or not. AI algorithms can analyze email content to help identify phishing attempts by detecting any suspicious language based on data that they're trained 
on. Now this is where we get into the fun question of whether or not AI will completely replace human ethical hackers. Personally, I don't think that ethical hacking as a specialization in cybersecurity is going away anytime soon, but I really do think that AI can really help enhance the tools and skill sets that they're already using in their day jobs and be able to help them become more efficient. Human ethical hackers do bring important skills to the table, especially because they can also come with more context and background of the applications and vulnerabilities that may be relevant to that specific piece of software. Ethical hackers are also able to adapt to new technologies, zero days, and emerging threats that AI models just may not have seen before and may go completely under the radar, especially when you're considering new vulnerabilities that an AI model may not have been trained on. And that may in turn lead to a false sense of security that your applications are secure if you only rely on AI to look for vulnerabilities in your application. Now, of course, I'm not saying that humans will never make a mistake, will never miss a vulnerability, but I do think that both human ethical hackers and AI working together will really provide you the best benefits in keeping your applications and software secure. Of course, AI also has its benefits where AI comes in. This may be specifically for the scalability of testing an application. For example, a small application may take a day or two for an ethical hacker to go through, but what if you're testing a large scale application? This will take heavy resources, including multiple ethical hackers, multiple hours of work, ranging from days to weeks, depending on the scale of the application. This is where AI can come in and perform reconnaissance and point out specific areas that may be suspicious to start with, dealing with any repetitive tasks that don't require human intervention or input, be provided some kind of pattern to be able to look for in an application or vulnerability that the ethical hacking team may want to look for. Essentially keeping that balance of human ethical hackers as well as the AI tools that they're using to ensure that your applications are fully covered. This will help better ensure that your organization's applications and software are safer from vulnerabilities and threats. Ethical hackers are able to think outside of the box depending on the applications and software that they're testing because they have that contextual understanding, which also allows them to bring creative problem solving to an ethical hack, whereas AI-driven tools may not be able to understand or come up with complex attack scenarios that involve different interactions across multiple different systems. Especially when you're going into a large-scale organization, there may be multiple servers, multiple assets, multiple network connections, different data sources and databases that are being used as part of a larger-scale application, and it will be much easier to be able to understand the technical scope of the application to find those security vulnerabilities that an AI may not be able to find. A lot of ethical hacking also goes back into intuition and essentially probing and assessing an application and testing out what you can do with it. So when it comes to more unique and complex attack vectors, this is really where good ethical hacking teams shine. Ethical hackers continuously learn and adapt to new skill sets, new technologies, new vulnerabilities, whereas an AI model it may not be updated every single day. So even for newer vulnerabilities that may exist, and obviously that time gap in between can be an area of risk for an organization. However, AI, of course, can also enhance the way ethical hackers work by using new technologies to our advantage for preventing and detecting security risks. This goes back into saving time for ethical hackers to be able to leave the small, repetitive, easy tasks for AI tools to find and manage, and for them to be able to hunt those complex findings that may not be as clear or easy to find based on a query or a requirement or something else that AI tools are looking for. So with all of this, what does the future of AI and ethical hacking look like? And what areas in ethical hacking will always need human ethical hackers? Obviously, I'm not a fortune teller, but I do think that there's definitely going to be a long path ahead for ethical hackers and the tools that they're using with AI being one of them. Who knows down the line, there may be some technology that may be able to replace human ethical hackers, but I don't think that time is anytime soon. And there's still a huge need for ethical hackers and their creative thinking, ability to adapt with their business and conceptual understanding of an application or the organization's network, being able to think like an adversary and understanding their goals, their objectives, what they're trying to do, and be able to anticipate any uncommon or niche attack vectors that an AI model just may not be looking for. Another thing is physical security assessments. This includes things like security cameras, access controls, even human interactions when it comes to dealing with potential adversaries in person, whether it be in an office, in a data center, or any other physical location relevant to your business. There may also be legal considerations where you may have compliance requirements. You have a red team assessment or a pen test or an ethical hack occur on an annual basis based on an SLA for a customer, an audit, or a certification that your company undergoes. Not to mention things like insider threats, which also deals with the human side of things where authorized individuals may exploit their access for some kind of malicious goal there just isn't enough data tooling or research 
to mitigate these kinds of risks without human input or intervention. And that is why I don't think that human ethical hackers, pen testers, or red teamers are going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, many organizations are hiring for skilled ethical hackers, and there is a shortage of this specialization. With 3.5 million cybersecurity jobs by 2025, ethical hacking is definitely a large part of that statistic. So if you're someone who is interested in going into cybersecurity and specifically ethical hacking, I would definitely encourage you to learn the skills, but I really do think that it would be to your benefit to be able to use AI tools to your advantage. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And if this video helped you, please consider liking this video and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other video topics that you may want to see from me in the future. Thank you again to Sneak for sponsoring today's video. You can sign up for a Sneak account completely free to be able to scan your applications for vulnerabilities easily and effectively using the link in my description, sneak.com slash with Sandra. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.